Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Well, here's our indoor aquaponic system all set up and rolling. See some of my turtles in here poking their heads up. The big one on the right is Aaliyah. Hey girls! There's a whole bunch of them in there swimming around. Oh, there's one down there. <laughs> Here's another one. So this is the turtle, the turtle pond, and a 100 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank from uh, Tractor Supply. And then the water goes through this piping into this one. This one's got some catfish, koi, goldfish, bluegills, all kinds of fish in here. There's a bunch of little catfish and goldfish swimming around. Baby catfish are so cool. I love them. They're so cute. And then the pump pumps up into this. 32 gallon trash can, and what's in here? 75 loofahs from the dollar store. That is the filtration media. It works great. And I've got a metal grate here to kind of keep them away from that pipe, and the pipe goes into the grow bed. So let me just pop this back down. So I've got a 55 gallon drum that I got from the local restaurant. I sawed it in half with a sawzall. Built a little stand out of two by threes for it. And I've got expanded clay pellets in here for the growing media. And then inside here, I didn't want the, uh, I learned this from my outdoor pond, um, you know, trial and error, what works, what doesn't. I didn't want to fill just the entire thing with the balls because it ends up blocking the water and then the water level rises in these and they get clogged. So I have the three inch pipe going in down there and then I have half inch mesh. I've made, I formed it into a tube around the pipe. So all under here, is a three inch tube of mesh and that goes all the way to the three inch PVC pipe that connects this to the next bed and then there's a three inch diameter tube of mesh underneath that one down the middle too just to keep the water free flowing so it won't clog as easily and then it goes right back down into there so it's like a clockwise circle the way the water goes and then I got these LED grow lights from Home Depot they're um, less than 10 watts a piece, and they're on a timer. And then on clearance in the guard section, I got these little these little panels, which will be great. So once the pothos gets a little bigger, it'll start growing more up. So I've got a whole bunch of things started in here, and they're in various stages of so-so. I brought in some lettuce from the aquaponics outdoor system, and it was starting to die back, so I'm not sure how it's going to do. I've got a... Um, a piece of root here from our comfrey and it's already starting to come up I'm confident that's going to do all right you pretty much can't go wrong with comfrey some more lettuce that's um, I think it's a uh, rainbow shard and then I've got all different types of mint I've got uh, I've got apple mint I've got orange mint there's chocolate mint in here I've got lemon balm I think that's what this is lemon balm right there and the same thing over in this bed and I also have uh, I don't know if you guys know what whorehound is. It's an herb, um, and you can make um, some make make some medicinal um, medicinal ointments or whatnot. You can even make medicinal beer out of this, and it's great for asthma. So I'm dying to try that. I haven't tried it yet. It's another thing of lettuce starting to come up right there. So the the uh, the mints. They're kind of surprising me. Some of them are not, are not doing that great. Some are doing awesome. It depends. But uh, as long as I can get them rooted, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll be all right. So here's my system so far. Everyone's happy. Hey, Leah. Here's Leah. She's like the matriarch. Rayard sliders. And they're illegal to have in Massachusetts. I have a state permit just so I can have these little guys because they're so invasive. They're breeding and spreading all over the state. But I use them for outreach programs. And now I'm going to use their poo to fertilize you. So uh, I'll give updates as this system gets more mature and it's finished cycling and everything gets in balance. But everyone's doing great. I've had no fish casualties. Turtles seem happy as heck to be in here. The plants are doing all right, but you know everything's just in the beginning stages. I used water and filtration media that I took from the outdoor pond. That way it'll kind of jumpstart this system with inoculation of bacteria. So um, I don't expect this to take that long to form kind of a homeostasis. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys.